Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. On our previous video we looked at a 1x5 hydrogen sigmotropic shift and we looked at how that is actually described orbitally where we look at how our 1s orbital of hydrogen actually shifts on the particular plane of a cyclopentadiene from one particular carbon which was an sp3 carbon to an sp2 carbon. Now that sp2 so carbon transforms its hybridization into an sp3 carbon in that particular reaction in there going from one carbon carbon one in that case to carbon five so this is quite an interesting one because that process was actually done in a superficial migration process now in this particular case we're going to look at the one three hydrogen shift and comparing that with a 1,7 hydrogen shift. Now both reactions are actually favorable and thoroughly and why is it thoroughly? We are going to look at that in terms of going in the molecular level. Now first off let's look at our 1,3 hydrogen shift. So in the 1,3 hydrogen shift we have two protons in this particular carbon let's just grab one of the carbon here and once it goes in a 1-3 shift what we have is that this particular one proton one here actually moves over here to form this and this other hydrogen over there now the question is will this reaction actually perform or occur in this particular direction now let's look at it in terms of the molecular orbitals and see how the bond will probably enhance or restrict this particular reaction. So first off in here we need to look at the MOs and what we see here is we have our double bond and first off we have this carbon in here which is represented as this one here. Let's just label this as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, let's talk about this in full details. In carbon 1, we have an sp3 hybridized carbon that overlaps with a 1s hydrogen. This is a homo in this particular case. Now, our LUMO comes about when we look at only two carbon atoms. So, the two carbon atoms that are sp2 will actually have their own two possibilities. So, First, first possibility is where all are in phase with respect to each other and the second one is when they are out of phase with respect to each other. Now if you position this particular one in terms of two electrons here and this being one, this automatically is our LUMO and then if you translate this into this particular one over here, what we realize is that if this here is generated what we have is that this is actually in phase here but this here is out of phase in here for our LUMO to actually be satisfied there as a result if you go in a 1 by 3 hydrogen shift it occurs in a superficial manner where the top here we are this particular one as orbital will move down to the bottom of our third carbon in here and this might actually happen but in terms of chemically wise it's actually unlikely to happen in this case why is because the rigid three carbon chain is too short to allow the hydrogen atom to transfer from the top to the bottom so unfortunately this reaction won't happen but it's actually allowed but impossible anti-officially due to that particular bond shortage and also in terms of that particular rigidity preventing this particular reaction from happening. So quite unfortunate but hey we got to move on which is the second one in here. One seven hydrogen shift. I said it will be anti-official and this is actually determined by looking at the molecular orbitals in here. Now let's look at the first molecular orbital. So we have this actually going in this particular direction but first our arrows shows that hmm, 
this proton actually moves here first and then you go over to here and you go over there and then this moves over here so if you are numbering first our numbering system will go one two three four five six seven now carbon one in here is sp3 carbon in here and this is actually overlapping with our 1s hydrogen atom in there now what happens is that the other six carbons will be able to actually look at the molecular orbital possibilities to see where the LUMO is actually positioned at and then from we can then determine how the 1s hydrogen will actually move either superficial or anti-facial to the carbon 7 so if you look at this particular diagram in here this particular diagram below here shows the first four molecular orbitals combinations in here so we have one two three four number four has three nodes number three has two nodes number two has one node and number one which is the lowest energy level has no node with all in phase so since we have how many electrons one two three four five six we can then distribute the six electrons in here one two three four five six therefore by default this will be our LUMO and if we want to translate that into what we have over here what we have is this that but this is out of phase with respect to that this is in phase with respect to that but this is out of phase with respect to that now this is in phase with respect to this but this is out of phase with respect to that so what happens in this case is that if I'm shading this will be shaded because you want those to be bonding in this particular case and then you now continue from there out of phase out of phase with respect to that then that so in this particular case what we have is our 1s orbital in here moving in an anti-official direction to the carbon 7 here to form our new sigma bond with this becoming now our sp3 carbon overlapping with a 1s orbital of a hydrogen so this will lead to the formation of our product with the 17 hydrogen shift now will this reaction actually occur yes the reaction will occur why is because in this particular case we are having a much more flexible movement of our bonds in such a way that the flexibility of our bonds allows it to actually be less rigid and allow the free movement of the orbital moving from 1 to carbon 7 in there and the chain is long enough for you to allow the anti-official migration where it can actually bend down compared to 1, 3 which is hard to actually bend it in such a way that this orbital will actually overlap with the third one that's about it for this video i hope you're able to understand this please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts and see you all on my next video have a good day peace love you all and be smart bye